Good morning, everyone. I hope you are all doing good today. In this video, I will tell you uh, something which is the continuation of what we did last week. Last week, we talked about the structure of detective fiction, the three common structures in any detective story. Uh, today, I will be talking about the details of what you can expect to find in a detective work. As you can see there on the screen, you have uh, Alaska Daily, which I mentioned to you last week, as an example of detective story without really having a detective character. The X-Files is also very, uh, well, it's a legendary series. Five on a Treasure Island is from the uh, famous Five series by Enid Blyton, which in Indonesia is very, uh, was very famous as uh, Limas Kawan. Your father, mother, and uncle might have uh, this on their bookshelf back in the day. And uh, a new one over there is a new series uh, that you can find in English. Okay, I don't think the Indonesian um, translation is available. All right, now let us go to the common elements that any detective story uh, should have, uh, at least in the original story. Now, the first thing that a detective story needs to have is the detective, of course. But the detective here uh, is not necessarily a professional detective. It can be any figure who detects uh, clues or finds clues to solve a case. Alaska Daily is one example of that. The Famous Five is also an example of that. Another one is the helper. The helper here is supposed to be someone who is assisting the detective in uh, solving the cases, uh, recognizing things, or even to take notes of uh, how the detective works. In the case of uh, Sherlock Holmes, Dr. Watson is uh, such helper. In another series, you can always find the helper. Your job now is to find the helper figure in the detective story or any crime or thriller fiction uh, that you have read. Next is the victim. Uh, there has to be a victim here. The victim can be a uh, one person who is uh, murdered. It can be one person whose belongings are stolen, or it can be a group like in uh, Alaska Daily. The victim is not just one person, but the entire Native American community in Alaska. Next, uh, we have witnesses or a witness. This character is uh, fundamental in solving the case. The witness is supposed to be someone who can uh, tell the truth or someone who can help the detective and uh, the helper in finding solutions to the case. Sometimes uh, the witness alone, no matter how truthful or how clear the explanation uh, is, still cannot really uh, solve the case. Uh, usually the witness leads the way to making the perpetrator or the criminal uh, conveys or reveals uh, the, the reason behind the crime. Next is the criminal. Uh, the Well, we can say this is the central figure in a detective story without a criminal there won't be any crime, there won't be any problem to solve uh, for the detective. Uh, the most ideal case is when the criminal or the criminal figure, because sometimes uh, someone commits a crime without uh, planning to do so or uh, by accident. Yeah. Usually uh, the criminal here, uh, the criminal figure will reveal the truth about what happened. And that's when the decision can be made whether uh, this person is to be punished or not. Okay, so these are the five characters that uh, we can find in the original detective story. Your job now is to find in uh, the detective story or the crime story that you have read or seen, uh, who are these figures in uh, the story that you have? Okay, uh, Scott McCracken in his book, Bob, has five spheres of action uh, for all the five uh, figures that I mentioned earlier. 
The first one is the detective. It's usually uh, about the exploration of the self, of the character. The detective figure in a modern detective fiction is usually a unique uh, individual. It's an individual that uh, has probably uh, an extraordinary intelligence, or it can be someone who is problematic, but definitely uh, this detective figure is someone who wants to solve the case. The helper here represents the world of the detective. From the kind of helper we have, we can see what kind of world the detective here lives in. Then uh, the victim. From the victim, you can find uh, what kind of crime there is. What kind of, uh, oh, sorry, uh, what kind of situation we are in. This is the mystery of the uh, crime or the murder. Uh, crimes don't happen to just uh, any individual. Sometimes uh, they happen uh, to individuals who are strongly related to the crime. If the person is, uh, for example, involved in a uh, personal case, then the murder might be related to a personal case. If the person is uh, a wealthy uh, individual, then uh, the crime is usually related to wealth and so on. Then uh, the witness. From the witness, we can see the process of detection or how uh, crimes or cases are solved in the story. You can see the witness and then uh, interpret from there uh, what kind of crime detection, uh, what process uh, takes place in the story. And then uh, the criminal, uh, we can find uh, the solution or uh, the criminal is actually where we have the solution of the whole case, okay? We're not solving uh, or we're not preventing the murder here, unfortunately, but we uh, can only solve the whole problem of the story, which is uh, finding out the perpetrator of uh, a crime. So these are the five spheres of action in a detective story that uh, you can try to uh, see and use as your uh, area of um, discussion. You can focus on specific area and focus on that. All right, uh, I guess uh, that's all, guys. Uh, you can go further and uh, find all these five elements in the uh, detective story or detective movie or crime movie that you have watched or seen or uh, read, okay? Uh, these are some examples of uh, detective stories that don't really use the standard um, elements, but still can see that uh, these works are playing with the, uh, with, the, with the elements. I guess that's all everyone. Now it's uh, on you again to uh, discuss with your group members and find uh, an explanation to the detective uh, work that uh, we have read, okay? We have read the murder, uh, Murders in the Rue Mark by Edgar Allan Poe, he's the father of uh, detective fiction, as I said last week. And in this uh, discussion of the murders in the room arc, I want you to find uh, what is the type of this uh, story? Uh, which of the three types is this uh, one in? And uh, figure out who the detective is and uh, who the helper is, uh, what kind of crime we have and uh, what is the detection process? These are all common elements in the convention of detective story. However, uh, no matter how conventional or how limited uh, the structure of the detective story is, still you can find uh, unlimited types of themes. Uh, from the murders in the room arc, I want you to find the structure. But from the stories that you have read individually or you have seen individually, I want you to find the theme just like in our discussion with Eleanor and Park uh, some time ago. Now, uh, in the work that you have read, please explain uh, what is the theme? What kind of themes can you find over there? All right, everyone, I guess that's all. Thank you very much for your attention. I'll see you uh, after the break. Bye. <laughs>